President Trump's announcement that he will not block the pending release of classified documents relating to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy marks the largest development in recent years in the historical sleuthing that still surrounds that dark day in Dallas. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen tells us what might yet change the president's mind and what secrets may be buried in those files. Hours after Politico reported that President Trump will likely withhold some of the classified files relating to the Kennedy assassination that are set for release on Thursday, President Trump tweeted early Saturday morning, subject to the receipt of further information, I will be allowing as president the long blocked and classified JFK files to be opened. The motorcade moves into the downtown area. Few expect the established history of November 22, 1963 to be upended if the public gains access to the 3,100 pages of assassination related records still under seal, along with the 30,000 or so pages that have been released only in redacted form. Published reports have said the Central Intelligence Agency is concerned about documents generated in the 1990s that argued against release of older files so as to protect agency operations then underway in post-Soviet Russia or Cuba. I'm enough of an historian, I think I'd go with the release uh, posture here, that this happened long enough ago that it's uh, unlikely to uh, stimulate any particular immediate strong hostility between the U.S. and Russia. Assassination researchers hope to learn more about the visit paid to Mexico City in September 1963 by Lee Harvey Oswald, the man whom history records as John F. Kennedy's sole assassin. Researchers also want to know more about this man, George Joannides, an undercover CIA officer who on the day of the assassination leaked material to the news media tying Oswald to Cuban groups. Jefferson Morley is the editor of JFKFacts.org and author of The Ghost a new biography of James Jesus Angleton, the legendary Cold War CIA officer who oversaw the agency's response to the Warren Commission. I would not agree that there's nothing in there that could change our understanding of the assassination. I think there is material in there that could do that. Contacted by Fox News, a CIA spokesperson dismissed all questions posed, replying only that the agency continues to, quote, determine the appropriate next steps forward, Brett, with respect to any previously unreleased CIA information. Our resident historian, James, thank you.